Ryan Kleckner is a lawyer and a former Army Ranger. He's thought a lot about this. He joins us tonight. Ryan, thanks so much for coming on. So dumb people peddling cheap, ineffective solutions that help them in the wake of a national tragedy. I feel like we've seen this before. We sure have, Tucker. I mean, the only reason to ban guns is to ban guns. It doesn't do anything to stop violent crime. I mean, I look at situations like this where we have a bunch of defenseless children murdered, and I don't understand who thinks it's a good idea to make the rest of us more defenseless also. I mean, well, Beto O'Rourke is one of those guys that wants to do that, but yeah. the assault weapons ban not only didn't help, it made it worse. Crime actually spiked during that ban, and since then we've been great on violent crime in this country compared to history or recent history. I mean, it's easy to focus on the scary gun, but if we look at real facts, if we look at real stats, like the FBI violent crime stats, there are more murders by hammers every year than any type of rifle, not just the extra scary assault rifle. And so you're absolutely right. Focusing on the environment, focusing on the person that wants to do harm is what we need to do to solve this problem because focusing on the tool would make as much sense as banning pressure cookers after the Boston Marathon or well, banning exactly right. box cutters after 9-11, right? It's like the people who tell you homelessness is about the lack of affordable housing. What a lie. I mean, it's ignoring <laughs> the real problem because it's just too hard and you don't have the imagination or the will to make people's lives better. So you just say the thing that you memorized in 1983. And we know it doesn't work because look at all the crimes he already broke. It's already a gun-free zone. Murder's already illegal. Yeah. All these laws didn't stop him, so let's throw another law at it that's going to be ineffectual. Not only is that a problem in violating our rights, that's a problem in not saving kids. Why don't we look yeah, at well, exactly. actual ways we would save our children instead of doing this? Yeah. How about not lock teenage boys indoors on the Internet for two years? That would be a start. Ryan yeah. Collector, it's great to see you. Thank you so much for your thoughtful analysis of that. More news after the break.